you can build a prop replica of the memory gun from the hit TV show Gravity Falls. The memory gun is a device featured in Gravity Falls that was designed to target and erase bad memories. It's got a unique steampunk aesthetic that features some interesting elements like a light bulb, a rotary knob, and a built-in screen. We designed the prop to house an OLED screen, a rotary encoder, an LED noodle, and a trigger button. A list of audio files stored on the microcontroller are displayed on the OLED screen and you can use the rotary encoder to cycle through them. Pressing the button triggers the highlighted sound effect and lights up the LED noodle that's fitted inside a plastic ornament. The Feather Prop Maker RP2040 is the perfect all-in-one dev board for making these type of projects. It's got the RP2040 chip with built-in I2S audio amplifier, LiPoly battery charging, Stemma QT, and screw block terminals for easy plug and play. The Feather is secured inside the prop's memory canister, which is the perfect compartment for housing the dev board and accessing the USB-C port. The CircuitPython code sets up the rotary encoder and OLED screen over I2C and the button as a keypad object. Audio files are stored in a folder and you can easily add more without having to edit the code. Bitmap fonts are used to display the text labels on the OLED screen. Three text elements are shown at a time and the center element features a white background to highlight the selected sound effect. The code, CAD files, and sound effects are all free to download. For a full tutorial, check out the guide at learn.adafruit.com. We think this is a great resource for folks who want to integrate audio, displays, and rotary encoders in their prop projects. All of the parts can be 3D printed using PLA filament. We used a metallic gold and bronze colored filament which turned out shiny right out of the printer so we didn't have to sand or paint any of the parts. We hope this project inspires you to level up your projects with CircuitPython and Adafruit's Feather PropMaker RP2040.